Hey folks, welcome to Fishing Lake Country. Hey, today we're going to be fishing with some colors that match the season. Today is Halloween, okay? Green pumpkin back, orange belly. I took put a little bit of brown in the orange to knock it down some so it's not orange orange, okay? It's more of a pumpkin orange. And I got orange flake in it and silver flake in the tail, okay? Let's go fish with these guys and see if the fish are ready for Halloween. <laughs> oh. Guess who else? Trick or treat. These little spotted bass, I've said this before, guys, broken record. They're worried to death on this lake. These might be nine inches long. They don't start getting fat till they get some size to them, do they? Oh, you got, I think I got a, actually have a crappie this time. Whoa, I got a nice crappie on old Halloween. <clears throat> Bam! What do you think of that? Guys, I got my spot lock working. I told you earlier, it didn't work yesterday. So I just ran into my neighbor. On, he's out fishing day too. And uh, so he used to work on at a marina. He come by last night, was playing with the switch. He said this, he thought he Googled it and said the switch was bad. Put WD-40 in it. So they were cut off an on switch now. So we played with the switch and kept spraying WD-40 in it. Seems to be working fine today. He said it was shortening out for moisture. That's a nice crappie. So look guys, YouTube's great, isn't it? As if he watched a video about it on YouTube. Guys, he's tw he's 12 inches. That's a nice crappy on old Halloween. Okay, let's let him go here. Bam! He didn't hit good, did he? All right, guys. I'm gonna tell you what. It's tough to get a bite here. I've had a bite. I get. I'm getting some little short strikes. We always caught them short. Oh, because these are short fish. I reckon all the strikes are short, huh? <laughs> but you know whether they're just bumping it, and you and you pulling your back your bait down or whatever. Like I say. You get this sometimes when the weather's been bad. He's not a very big one, he's a teenager. But look here, bam, on old Halloween. Green pumpkin orange belly on the shad one. <laughs> All right, we, we need to catch a couple more on Halloween, guys. This day is Halloween, so that's why I'm calling that Bay Halloween. It's, it's matching the pumpkin, you know, green pumpkin, orange belly. Those are uh, fall colors, right? So let's see if we can catch one more now. Bam, another one on old Halloween. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave a spot. I don't see many that look any much bigger than this. Might be a couple, but they won't, they'll follow me. There's a couple of bigger ones there. He's, he is a, he's a youngster. Well, guys, I lied. I threw back her one more time. <laughs> I thought, I'm a, I am gonna go ahead and throw one more time back there. It's because I'm set up here and the boat's holding me. He's a little bit bigger. He might be he might be eight, eight and a half. But I am gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna move this time. That's on Halloween. Uh I'm gonna go way up the lake, I think. Um I've caught fish at this dock before. Y'all have seen me here. This is a dock that I've been catching here for about two months off and on. And I haven't caught any big fish here. They've all been decent. I've caught some tens, ten and a half. But the bigger fish are moving around here, they're just harder to find. And I think a lot of them are out here in this open water and stuff. And uh, that's why I spend a lot of time doing this. As I told you, I run down the bank a lot, and this is what I do, okay? I, I move my panel here. I watch that death finder right there. And I just look around like this. And I run on down through here. And, I, and I'm looking for trees, stumps. And a lot of times, that's how I find those big fish. I find them out here. They like they like to be out on set by themselves. It'll be six, eight, ten fish on a on a tree or a cedar tree somebody put down. All right, so here's a single fish right here. Whoops. See right there? That's one fish right there going by itself. I don't think it's crappy, but it could be. Now, here's what I'm talking about. Look at there. There's a little piece of trash right there. So that's out here in 11 foot of water. Now, I don't see any fish on it. And I do see a couple little fish hanging around there. No, nah, nothing worthwhile. Maybe a some person. They don't look any size to them. But that's how I find fish, guys. I spend a lot of time doing that. And I, I'm giving you all a lot of information today. 
people ask me this. I'm just trying to answer questions that I get asked a lot on YouTube, uh, my comments, and local people that I run into. Going, hey, I watch your channel. You're catching a lot of fish. And I'm trying to figure out what part of the lake you're on and stuff. And I guess I don't tell everybody. I, I tell you what creek I'm on a lot because, you know, you, you got to get out and try to find your spots. And you might, if you know where I'm fishing, that's fine. If you live on the lake, whatever, that's fine. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to say go look for an orange house with a red roof and fish that dock, it's loaded, because they could be there on Saturday. I've said this many times. And go back on Sunday, and they're not there. Crappy move. You've got to go find them. But once you learn an area, and I say, well, I can come in this area, and they're usually on that dock. I've never caught one off of that dock. I have caught them off of that dock. I've never caught them off of that dock. So I go to the docks where I have caught them before. The docks I've never caught any, I don't fish those docks no more. I do check them once in a while. Once in a while, I will say, you know what? Let's check it. In the spring, they could be on any dock. Okay, you could be anywhere in the spring. But once you get past that spawn and they move that summer pattern, their habits change, I'm telling you. They got certain docks they like, and if a dock has something under it, like a cedar tree, a stump, it don't take but any plus, something like that, it's a plus. If you own a dock, and you want to have crappy on it, get you some cedar trees, uh, cut them up on the bank somewhere if you have to, and put some weight on them, put a cinder block to them, put them down in, in your boat slip or whatever, put it in the deepest part now, got close to the end of it, maybe the second post back, and you will have crappy. Gosh, guys, look, I got a decent one. It is a decent one. Bam, come on up here. It is a decent one, guys. All right. And I'm going to tell you what, I just traveled from the last couple places I fished, I just traveled about six or eight miles. It was worth it, and it's cold. <laughs> and it's cold. All right. One little Halloween. All right, guys, that's a nice fish, isn't it? He's 13, guys. Look at all. He's just a touch over 13. All right, let's put him back in. Be free! Yeah, that's how Marlon Bates tickles when he does that. Be free! He's fun if y'all ever watch him. He makes some of the beautiful baits. Uh, wooden baits in the world, I believe. All right. Guys, I found another one way out here. You can tell them all the way from the bank. That's why I said I think they're stumps. Who would put a brush pile to fish from their dock this far out from the dock? I'm I'm a hundred gosh, I'm 110, 120 feet from the dock. Like I said, I know when you get when you go down this bank, it gets shallow all the way. You can see the stumps under the water when, when the water's clear. It fell out of his mouth. There you go, guys. Oh Halloween. That's a nice crappy. He's 11 and a half, probably. He might, the other one was a little bit over 12. He's a little smaller. He ain't quite as big as that last one. But you know what? I'll take him on an old nasty day. All right, let's see if we can find one more. And I'll get a, if I get a shot of what I'm fishing at, I'll show you on the, take a shot of it for you. Well, guys, there's some kind of places I'm catching them. Now, I know it don't look like much, but you see one fish to the left moving right there. When I come by those spots, I'll see the fish roll out and chase my bait a little ways. There's not many here, but I've caught a couple decent ones, and that's what counts, right? Uh, but you can't see them sometimes, and I'll come past that cover. It's a guy mowing over here, guys. Sorry. Uh, I'll come past it, and you'll see the fish just come out of that green, you know, which is the cover. It's I, I, To me, it looks like a stump. Uh, there are There is some brush here, but that I think that's a stump, and he'll roll it out of there and grab it. All right, folks, we caught some fish, caught a couple nice ones, too, okay? And we was on the uh, fall colors. I called it Halloween because today is Halloween, so I kept calling it Halloween. But it's just a fall color, green pumpkin, orange, and I caught some fish. Guys, appreciate you watching. Appreciate all the great comments, okay, on the port of catches. Uh, you put a number down, so this is not a port of catch. I'm just reminding you, this is just a fun video. But I'll tell you what we could do. I think we'll do. Let's see how many people made it to the end to pay attention. Because they tell us, you know, in the studio, we have a skip rate and all that kind of stuff, okay? 
And that a lot of people don't watch all the way through. That's why a lot of people probably don't know what a port to catch is. They watch it and don't leave a number because they don't watch all the way through, okay, to the end. To where we talk about leaving a number, or they're not paying attention at the beginning when I say leave a number, right? But here's what we're going to do. We're going to see how many people made it to the end. I'm going to keep this bag right here like it is now. And I want you to leave a number between 150. And I'm not going to put Porter Catch in the title either, in the thumbnail. And whoever gets closest to 150 at the end of the video, so the only place I'm going to mention is, whoever gets closest to the 150 number, I'm going to mail you the leftovers of this bag, okay? And I'll send you a couple other packs too, okay? So, because we'll, look, it's going to cost me shipping, <laughs> so I might as well send you some other ones. But I'll send you what's left over right here. And I only used like two or three of them, guys. It's probably 25 in it or 20. All right? Put your number down. Okay, again, this is not a four to catch. We're just going to do a giveaway because it's Halloween. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Fishing Lake Country. See ya.